What is up? Another day, another ball door motor and an Aeon unit that is getting very noisy. All right, for comparison, let's listen to one that sounds normal. Let's go over to this one. Exact same unit. As you can hear, it sounds rather choice. There she be in all its glory. Being an Aon, they use these direct drive first inclined pitch wheels. Basically, just draws air through the middle from the return through the coil in this van and it pressurizes this compartment with static pressure then it pushes it down through the supply air through the reheat coils the way Aeon does is they, they just bind up extra length of wire that way you can take out a couple bolts pull out the whole assembly which I'm going to lay on this tool cart be able to do the, the work on the motor but yeah, these bearings they don't these units aren't that old these are 2015 start sounding pretty horrendous. So this assembly comes out as a hole. There are two more bolts going through right here and down there, half inch head. And then on this particular model, there are two more bolts over here, which I took out. It goes through a hole right there and a hole right there. Now that the wire's loose, it is made to simply swap. This one is a lot easier than the larger Aeon units. Okay, I replaced the front bearing, which doesn't seem too toast, but I just pulled the back cover off the rear bearing. And it's, dang, you can tell it was hot. And it's, it's very scratchy just to turn this look. It won't even freewheel. I mean, it's, yeah, so there's the culprit. That would have locked up on them eventually. Okay, got the rear bearing on. You see it freewheels. This one, should took the cover off. I mean, it's pretty screwed. All right, got the motor back together. New bearings in there, smooth as butter. Yeah. thing I like about this design out of the Aeon units is that you got the shroud and everything together make sure it's all lined up before you put it back into the unit motor back in there let's start up the fan though seems pretty quiet she blows. Well, I don't hear the howl of the bearings. <laughs> cool mode. I was expecting it to be in vent mode for a little bit, but this thing ain't wasting any time. It's probably because the uh, space temperature is so much higher. Space temp 72. Ain't as bad as I thought it was going to be. They were screaming down there to get this started. But uh, they're, they're set to, I believe, is 66 degrees. You know, Aeon. But not so good for those Baldor motors. Out of the Aeon units installed in the last four or five years, I've had to replace bearings, and quite a few of them. And uh, <laughs> stupid birds flying around that freaking fake 
fake palm tree. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think the, I figure if anything, these uh, Koyo or whatever brand aftermarket bearings probably be better than what came in those Baldor motors to begin with. So, and at this other place, they have five Aon units. I have three of them here. So I've done one here, but this other place that has five of them, and they're actually a little newer than these. Um, I've replaced bearings in like three motors so far, I think. Another five units. Yeah, so uh, something's up with those bearings. They all have VFDs, but they come from the factory with those VFDs. So I know people talk about adding those little those brushes that you add to the shaft to uh, discharge eddy currents or whatever created by the high frequency of the uh, VFD. But... Hey, I didn't put them on there, so if I have repeat issues with the bearings I've put in, then probably have to, you know, see if they want to upgrade to stuff like that. But other than that, I'm just fixing them. So I'm sure later on in the future I'll be doing the bearings on that one too. So, but yeah, looks like we're going to be good to go here. Again, you saw what it sounded like when I got here this morning. Sounds totally normal now. I'll put the clip of what it sounded like this morning right here now. And then compared to this, much better.